If I can help somebody as I have along. During the Selma anniversary, of the Salma March, there were a lot of uh, interviews that was done, and my uncle was a part of those interviews. And like I said, er, as I shared, is that, you know, you see it, you take it for granted. And then I was like, hey, that's my uncle. That's my mom's brother. Uh, the picture would always be in my aunt's living room or my mom's house with him marching with Dr. King. So then I decided to bring him to Moreno Valley High School. I thought the students would benefit from his uh, presentation today to not only talk about his, his, uh, his participation in the civil rights movement, but his relationship with, one of the, with, with a pioneer, one of the pioneers of the civil rights movement, and that was Dr. King. It's really exciting. It feels like I'm meeting a whole, like he is a famous person, like he's a living historian, and it feels good to ask him questions about that time and what we can do now to better ourselves. Dr. King's dream is still unfinished. It's still in process. He still can sing, he still got the word, he still got his freedom of speech. And he did a lot, he opened up my eyes. Like he, even the speech he did, it just opened up to me like real good. And I would take that far in life and make sure that I'll give him his the thank you so much for the thing, the words he spoken to me. Well, I'm hoping that I was honest enough in my presentation uh, to accept what I said and the challenges that I gave them to accept them as a ch that a challenge that they will assume for themselves, that they will want to be the best leaders uh, and help cha bring about change in our nation. Now you can actually see that we improved, they helped us improve, so now we have the right that they've been fighting for and I'm, I appreciate it because now I can, because now each race can actually be friends with each other. My living shall not be